Happy to uh, yield next the gentleman from Florida, Mr. Jimenez. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, and um, Madam Speaker, uh, from the COVID-19 pandemic and Russia's barbaric uh, invasion of Ukraine to the spikes of illegal Im immigration and illicit drugs uh, flowing into our country, world events over the past few years have further underscored the importance of countries preserving their national borders. When a state cannot control and secure its own border, it loses the ability to protect its people and its strategic interests. In order for a state to survive, secure borders are paramount. The current border policies in the Biden administration allows for millions of unvetted, undocumented individuals to freely flow across our southern border. They allow acts of war to be played out by the cartels and the narco traffickers with hard, illicit, dangerous narcotics such as fentanyl, uh, metamethamphetamine, heroin, and uh, cocaine to permeate across the border and be transported uh, to communities throughout the country where they're killing thousands of our, of our uh, fellow countrymen. These failed border policies leave our children, our grandchildren, our citizens vulnerable. They leave our national security vulnerable. They are a total abdication of the President's duty as the leader of the United States, whose prime responsibility is, after all, to protect the American people. Instead of handling this border crisis, President Biden and Secretary Mallorca seem to be more interested in solving Mexico's immigration problems. As a majority of migrants apprehended at our southern border are coming from other countries, such as Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, and frankly, from all around the world, it makes absolutely no sense for asylum seekers to show up at our borders seeking refuge from their home countries. And think about this logically. If a migrant is escaping their home countries because of horrible living conditions or other, other factors, shouldn't they uh, be seeking asylum at the Mexican border and waiting to go into Mexico? Instead, which is exactly what they're doing, instead, President Biden's weak and gutless policies gives Mexico a free ride by incentivizing them to pass their border security issues and responsibilities to the United States. President Trump had it absolutely right. We must bring back the Remain in Mexico policy and make sure Mexico is doing its part in keeping their borders safe. Customs and Border Protection uh, has made clear what they need to secure our southern border and by extension protect the American people. We must move swiftly to finish constructing approximately 280 miles of the wall and fortifying that barrier uh, with, bolstered, with bolstered technology such as radar sensors, drones, autonomous surveillance towers. By strengthening our barriers, both physical and technological, we would be ensuring our law enforcement officials are equipped with the resources necessary to deter grave national security and public health threats created by unvetted, undocumented individuals crossing into our border curb the proliferation of human trafficking along the southern border, and stem the flow of illicit drugs into our country that, again, are killing thousands, thousands of our American citizens. Mr. President, the time has come for your administration to take the crisis at our southern borders as a serious national security threat, the one that puts our families, our communities, and our country at incredible risk. No more hot air and useless speeches. It's time to get real on securing our border. Thank you, and I yield back. Thank you, Chief, for that uh, clear message. And you're right, we heard from former Border Patrol officials this morning, and they told us that for an absolute certainty, we've lost operational control of the border. We really have no border security.